The session requires 10 players who are broken into two groups of five. One group is placed in the blue area, whilst one group is placed in the yellow area. There must be a player at each of the cones with two players on the cone with the ball. Players are asked to play the ball around the outside of the square in two touches. The coach stops the practice to talk to the players. He explains that he wants the player's first touch to be tighter so not to close the space between themselves and the target player. The coach steps in to progress the session. Players are now required to check their shoulders. This should be done after the pass and before the first touch. The coach explains that this helps improve decision making, game awareness and visual awareness. The coach now asks the players to play in the opposite direction. He explains that the players must get used to checking over both shoulders. All players are now asked to wear a red coloured and yellow coloured glove. All actions must take place after the strike of the ball and before the touch. The player to the right of the player receiving the ball must place either of their hands in the air as the ball is in transition. As the ball is in transition, the receiving player must check their shoulder and call out the corresponding colour glove held up. The coach now explains that to be a top level player you must have quick feet and a quick run. The coach now challenges the players to perform physical activities based on their visual awareness. As before, when the ball is transitioning from passer to receiver, the player to their right must hold up a hand. The receiving player must check their shoulder, call out the colour they see and tap the corresponding glove to the opposite instep of the foot before controlling the ball. The coach now asks the players to perform a more complex series of actions before their first touch. Players are required to perform actions in the following sequence. Check their shoulder and spot the coloured glove. Call out the coloured glove. Clap their hands twice. Touch the correct foot with the corresponding coloured hand. All after the pass and before the touch.
players are still required to spot the colour, call out the colour, clap twice, tap the correct coloured glove on the opposite foot, all after the pass and before the touch. If the player sees a red glove, they must change the direction of the ball and play back to where the ball came from. If the player sees a yellow glove, they must continue in the same pattern. The coach emphasises the importance of moving quickly between the cones as you may be required at any time. The coach now adds an additional signal. If the player holds up both hands, the receiving player must play a diagonal ball across the centre of their square. The coach explains that when diagonally switching, you must be aware of the player in the centre of the area. You must take your touch to create a passing lane and be quick and accurate. The coach starts the exercise by asking the players to pass and receive from either coloured team. He explains that he wants the players to use the entire area. There are five balls in play, so players must be constantly scanning the field and moving to create passing lanes to be an option for the players on the ball. The coach emphasises the importance of accurate communication. The coach now advances the session. He asks the players to maintain a passing distance of 8 to 10 yards. He asks the players to think about space, body shape and accuracy of the pass. The coach also emphasises that he wants players to check their shoulders. This should happen after the pass, but before the touch. The coach now asks one player from each team to go outside the playing area. The outside player must move constantly around the area, holding up either hand as they move. The coach emphasises that they should only raise one hand at a time. The coach explains to the players that when receiving the ball, they must look for the teammate and call the colour. This must happen after the pass, but before the first touch. The 
Stephen Coates now steps in to switch the outside players. He then explains to the players to use the entire playing area. He emphasises that players should be looking to maximise their personal space. Coach asks the players to now perform the ABCs of visual awareness. The coach now asks the players to perform a series of actions. Spot the colour, call the colour, tap the corresponding hand to the opposite foot, all after the pass and before the touch. The coach now adds in an additional activity. Players must now Spot the colour, call out the colour, clap their hands twice, tap the corresponding hands to the opposite foot. The coach emphasises that he wants the players to aim for excellence with the ball. The coach now explains that the playing area is broken up into three columns and three rows. Players are split into two teams, one red team and one orange team. Each player is assigned a number, 1 through 7. Players are required to pass the ball in number sequence. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 1. Players are asked to use the full area and not to form small pockets and restrict the space. The coach reminds the players to maximise personal space and to create passing room. The coach now steps in to progress the session. Players are restricted from passing to a player in the same row or column. Players have to create angles for diagonal passes. The coach stops the session to explain the next progression. The coach still wants the players to pass in a sequential pattern. So when player 1 plays to player 2, player 3 must raise their hand.
the coach now asks the players to spot the colour, call out the colour, touch the opposite foot with the corresponding coloured glove. All after the pass, but before the first touch. Coach now progresses the session by adding in two tennis balls per team. Players two and three from both teams are given tennis balls. Ball two is played from two to four, four to six and six to one. Ball one is played from one to three, three to five, five to seven, seven to two. The soccer ball continues in the original sequence. He now asks the players to execute more actions as the ball is in transition. See the pass of the soccer ball, spot the colour, pass the tennis ball, all after the pass and before the first touch. Coach now asks the players to perform a new set of actions. Spot the colour, call the colour, clap your hands twice, touch the corresponding coloured hand to the opposite foot, then pass the tennis ball. All after the pass and before the first touch. This session requires seven players, six red and one orange. Four red players are asked to go outside the playing area and take one side each, with the three remaining players to play inside the area. The coach explains that the players in the central area will play 2v1, whilst the players outside the area will act as servers. The central players are tasked with receiving a pass from an outside player, playing to their teammate inside the playing area, and playing to either of the three servers on the outside. The coach explains that the two players in the central area must work together to create passing options. Players must have an open body shape when receiving the ball. Support players must make quick supporting movements to create passing channels whilst maximising personal space. The 
The coach steps in to progress the session. The coach explains to the outside players that they are now working in pairs. When a player on the outside receives the ball, the player on the opposite side must be ready to raise one hand in the air. This should be done immediately after the pass. The coach instructs the inside players that they are now to check their shoulders and call out the colour. This should only be done by the player preparing to receive the ball. The colour should be called after the pass but before the first touch. Coach now progresses the session. He challenges the central players to spot the colour, call the colour, touch the corresponding coloured glove to the opposite foot, all after the pass but before the first touch. The coach steps in to progress the session. He asks the players to spot the colour, call the colour, clap their hands twice, tap the corresponding hand to the opposite foot, all after the pass but before the first touch. The coach explains that he wants the players to think about the distance between passes and allow themselves time to execute. The coach also asks the outside players to be smarter with their pass selection and now to play to the player who is in the best position to receive. <laughs> 